Hello everybody. I'm going to discuss about uh, hernia. Today I'm going to discuss about inguinal hernia. So it is a small bulge in the groin area. It is very common in children, particularly in premature babies. In children, this occurs when there is a small opening in the muscle wall in the groin, which allows intestine uh, to bulge out, causing a lump in the groin. The hernia may increase in size as uh, your baby strains or cries. The hernia can occur on either side of the body or sometimes on both sides and your child will require an operation to fix it. In a girl, sometimes ovary can bulge out instead of bowel. So this is about uh, inguinal hernia. Why uh, operation is required? Often the bowel can move in and out quite easily through this opening, but sometimes the bowel can get stuck. If the bowel become trapped, it may not receive adequate blood supply and your child will become unwell. Therefore, to prevent this complication, operation is needed. Now, if you notice an inguinal hernia as a carer or parent, you want to know what to do. If you notice a lump in your child's groin, you need to seek medical assistance. If your child is happy, feeding well, uh, pooing normally and lump does not appear to be painful, make an appointment with your GP and they will refer to see a pediatric surgeon. However, if that is very painful, discolored and your child's abdomen is big and swollen and they are vomiting and unwell, you should attend emergency department urgently. Now, as a parent and carer, you need to know what are the signs you will be looking when you need to do something urgently for your child or whether you can go uh, you know, to the GP, not that urgent. So I'm telling you about the red flags when you need to go. If that lump is present all the time, don't go away by gentle um, pressure and um, that swelling is red, sore, you know, or both, and uh, full or swollen tummy, vomiting, particularly green vomit is very suspicious and baby is unusually unsettled and seems to be in pain. In that case, you go to emergency immediately. Now, if those uh, signs are not there, but still it can be worrying, you have to discuss with your GP or um, men's general practitioner, health visitor urgently. Um, if the lump is not short to touch, still comes and goes freely, but lump is getting bigger and bigger. Irritability, feeding problem, difficulty in opening bowel and also sleep disturbance. Then it is better to be seen by a medical practitioner or discuss with health visitor. Now, if those what I mentioned are not there, but if you have seen a lump in the groin, it comes and goes, uh, particularly noticeable when your baby is crying or straining and disappear when settled, feeding well, settled, and uh, that lump is not short to touch, and neither it is very red, then you have to see your general, general practitioner, GP. Um, so this is in nutshell about the inguinal hernia. Hope this it will help you to understand how to deal with it and when to get, uh, you know, medical assistance um, urgently or non-urgently. Thank you for watching. We'll be coming with another topic next time. Bye.